Hello, Miami. This is Thrill Five Sports Now, your home podcast and channel for all things Miami sports related. I am Will, and I just want to thank, I just want to show everybody and say happy Father's Day right, to all the dads out there that are listening to this program and all around the world, all around the United States. Thank you so much for what you do, you know, in terms of raising uh, your children. It's a tough task. You know, I myself as a dad uh, can relate. So just happy Father's Day. Okay. Thank you for watching as well. Greatly appreciated here on 305 sports now and i wanted to talk about some canes all right canes uh is heating up again as for the second week in a row miami does host a couple of of big fish that are trying to snag for the 2024 class what is justin scott you know and the other one is kevin riley so today we'll be going over four-star running back kevin riley out of northport alabama at a, T- at a tuscaloosa senior high school and big kid okay big kid very strong 511 195 is projected to get bigger Okay, as uh, senior year gets to get, uh, gets together, he is hearing offers from schools like Miami, of course, you know, Auburn and Alabama and Georgia as well. The SEC is been after him, very tempting to bring him in, you know, as well, bring him in because, you know, of what he brings to the table. I don't have um, numbers for you guys as far as, you know, the max preps goes. For some reason, max preps doesn't have updated stats on this kid. Uh, but I do have the scouting report courtesy of 247 Sports, so I will be reading you that. And number one, he is a big kid, like I mentioned earlier. A north and south runner, not an east and west type of guy. He's a guy that's going to hit the hole and so on and run over tacklers as well. But the one thing about him that I've noticed in the video and is also listed in the scouting report is that he has deceptive speed. What I mean is that he he hits the hole quickly, all right, but uh, does uh, looks for contact first. But once contact is over uh, in particular and the – the ocean opens up for him, you can say, all right, the, you know, the hole opens up for him. He's gone, all right? He is able to run away from people. He is able to outrun defenders. He is able to break tackles as well. Very good at breaking tackles. Very, uh, pretty elusive, you know, to say the least. So this is a kid that is going to be a physical kid, a physical pounder. But if you don't bring him down, he will also run away from you. Kind of like Mark Fletcher last season, all right? I do think he might be a little more powerful than Mark Fletcher, uh, but, but Mark Fletcher was known as being more of a power back, all right? But Mark Fletcher also had good speed, all right? Or has good speed as well in terms that he could run away from defenders. And this kid kind of brings that to the table, all right? The only difference, difference is Mark Fletcher was known for being a better pass catcher as a, as a recruit. Now, the reason why this kid is not listed as a good pass catcher is because, or not listed, but is not mentioned in his pass catching capabilities is because that's not really brought up in his offense, all right, he's not. He wasn't asked to block much in his offense, according to scouting reports, or catch the football as much. Even though, in some uh, videos I've seen, he can. Okay, but nonetheless, that's something. That's a skill that he will develop, and this is good because Miami is trying to develop again a very strong and powerful running game alongside their air raid type of passing game. You know, as well, short yardage. Yes. Okay. Three, uh, third and one, he'll get your first down. Third and two, he'll get your first down. Fourth and one, get your first down. Goal line situations, he'll get you in the end zone, okay? So this is a kid that has that on his repertoire as a very powerful tailback that will fall forward, not fall backwards in the process. Um, The Miami Hurricanes picked up earlier this year uh, Chris Willie Humphrey. Chris Willie Humphrey is, you know, known as a speedback, three-star athlete, known as a speedback, so this is good because it will complement the power of that is, you know, Kevin Riley, so those two complement each other. And not only that, Miami is also trying to um, convince Jared Gibson to be a Miami Hurricane. Jared Gibson, although hasn't committed to a school yet, he is tracking more towards Texas. All right, Texas has been on his heels. He's been projected by 247 Sports to go to Texas. In some of his interviews, he's insinuated that he kind of likes Texas. All right, so we'll see what happens. Miami has has uh, has impressed before. Jared Gibson was here last week. Okay, and, and they made a good impression on him, like they did all the other recruits as well. So we'll see what happens, right? But nonetheless, this is a running back the Miami Hurricanes do want to get in Kevin Riley because of the fact that he's powerful, he's strong, has potential to also catch the football out in the backfield, and also uh, the potential to pick up blitzes as well and keep his quarterback's jersey clean. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, happy Father's Day. All right, that's it for me. Short, straight to the point. I Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe. God bless. See you soon. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.